TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy May Edition with your host, Pablo Gunner, the ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about Ghost of Shima. If you're new here, for our grade scale, for most of our stuff, because most stuff is streaming, it's going to be a must-see, must-stream. Then it's just going to be check it out as the mid-grade, and then the low-grade is going to be pass. Now, if you can't stream it, then it's going to be probably a buy, and then rent, if there's a rent or some form of that, since there's we don't really, you know, you could try it, I guess, you know, like, which is pretty much Game Pass type services, right? Or Gamefly. Yeah, 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 you could do that. All right, let's move on. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut came out on PC. I've been seeing tons of stuff on the Sucker Punch Instagram, and there's so many screenshots that are just phenomenal and beautiful. It's a beautiful game. I kind of want to play it around my kids just because it's beautiful, but it's not going to be beautiful when I decapitate somebody with my samurai sword in a, in a samurai fight, which... The absolute best thing is when you have a legit samurai duel and it turns into the cinematic mode and then, like, he notches his samurai sword and then, like, you're waiting for the other person. You can do these standoffs whenever you want against any group of people, which I don't anymore because I suck at them. But the actual fights, like, oh, man, the way the progression system goes and the way all of it's done, it's just phenomenal and it's brilliant and it's beautiful. I haven't finished the game. I'm almost finished because I'm, like... On all my tales of, it's like 7 of 9 or like 8 of 9 at this point. So I'm almost done. I think I may, might have like one third left of the game. But oh my god, if you have not played this game, you have to play it. It's beautiful. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's a single player. But it is just so phenomenal. And it's just... And, and there is a sequel coming out eventually. So... And I don't know how, but I'm interested to see how. And oh my god, you have to play this. As a person who hasn't even finished it mind-blowing game it is absolutely a must-buy whether it's director's edition i mean i just i yeah the wife got me the director's edition i got it late right i got it on the ps4 and i've just been playing it on the ps4 because i don't want to pay for the upgrade because i don't care and because I, I don't want to start all over either from the beginning because i like said i'm so far in the game so absolutely oh, a they strong must bring buy. your progress with you i, I well, i put the game in i think i would have to use my i'd have to Move my because it's all on external hard drive, so I'd probably have to move it. I just didn't feel like do, dealing with the mess of doing all that, and I was like, I'll just, I'll just do it on, I'll just keep playing it. I don't want to deal with the mess, so too much of a headache for me. I'm not, I'm not as uh as as strong in, you know, the gadget abilities as you, ambassador. <laughs> I suck at that. I'm the jack of nerdy trades, master of absolutely none of them. So, because <laughs> I just have my, my fingers in too many pies, you know, I barely get a taste of, of each one, and it's mostly the mainstream stuff. Thank you for watching and checking us out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Um, check out our merch. I'm wearing the Doctor Who uh, lettering with the Doctor Who TARDIS. We have other Doctor Who stuff. Um, this is actually was a prototype, so I've actually dragged it down so it's it's not so high up. So now the lettering is like more like right here, and then the the TARDIS is going to be right here. But um, and then I'm wearing rocking my Asul Beetle all print, um, not leggings. What do they call them? Joggers. Uh, which I, the all print is always the way to go. I, they're probably not on the site though because we only have a hundred items. But if you want it, we can hook you up. We can get them for you, and you're sporting. Uh, the periodically nerdy shirt which is just it's nerdy periodically yeah. obviously it's hilarious and brilliant which is so fitting for the ambassador <laughs> so yeah you know what let's do some shout outs too i got some shout outs for the peeps for that always at the top of the list we have atticus atticus uh and then we have um which is he's a youtuber and he's just raw and 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 real and he's a teacher out in vietnam and but he also just does slice of life stuff that's that's really interesting really great you know what it's like to have relationships with friends uh, you know people of the um r romantic relationships even pre people of the opposite gender of your own or whatever and uh and and it's so cool i love just seeing it because it like the land is just beautiful like it's it's so cool to see uh mk jekyll and hyde is another one 
that is great. Uh, they do comics, like online comics, and they're great. And every it seems like every post they make is so inspirational. So I love their stuff. Uh, Film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover all films. Doesn't matter. They will cover all of them because they, like us, will waste their time so you don't have to. And uh, Mary May Media, which kind of sounds like what it is, which is anime, media, um, and a little Americana, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, Superpower List, those guys are awesome. Hardcore comic book nerds. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, find the earth.